A four-man relay team has become the first quartet from Singapore to swim across the iconic English Channel. And they started from Samphire Ho in England early this morning, Singapore time, and completed the 33-kilometer swim in 11 hours and 25 minutes, landing at Cap Grinet in northern France. The team comprises former national swimmer Mark Tan, as well as Elvin Tan, Lim Chi Kyung and Ng Chi Soon. And we have team leader Lim Chi Kyung on the line with us right now. He is in Folkestone, England right now. Oh, Mr Lim, congratulations first uh, from all of us here. And uh, Thank you. we're going to be a little bit competitive on this. You're just two hours out of the water. <laughs> uh, but uh, a swim like this on average takes 10 to 15 hours. And uh, you took 11 hours, 25 minutes. To be very Singaporean on this, do you think you've done well? <laughs> I think the team did exceptionally well, um, and uh, we are delighted with the timing. Mr. Lim, tell us what the experience was like swimming across the channel. What were the conditions like? <coughs> Cold. <laughs> the water <laughs> is... Uh, we were lucky. I mean, with global warming, um, the water was what they like to say a toasty 17 Celsius. Uh, so, um, and we we in Singapore are used to 28 Celsius. So it is cold. Um, it, we were lucky. Um, it was a clear day, and there's not that much wind. Uh, wind gusts were like five miles an hour to eight miles an hour. So that didn't kick out too many waves. So that's always good. So that made the swim a little bit better for all of us. Oh, Mr. Lim, of course, uh, sports, a sporting activity uh, is different uh, in terms of at what age do you peak for which kind of swimming activity. But your most senior member on the team is Mr. Ng Chi Su. Now he's 60 and you're yes. telling us how cold yes. the water is so you could take him as a true yes. model of endurance. Was it any harder yes. for him to take on this challenge compared to the rest of you <coughs> who I assume are younger? Um, actually, um, all of us uh, pr probably face the same challenges um, because uh, it, it is cold and uh, we are all not used to the cold to begin with. So that's, uh, that is probably, I think, the equalizer um, more than anything. So um, the, the, at the end of the day, it's about training for this thing. It's been three years in the making. So we have been uh, training quite a number of times a week for the last three years. Uh, and um, and basically, we designed the, our programs to make sure that we can launch a successful attempt uh, for this channel. Uh, we the, the, there's only there's only like um, ten boats, uh, twelve boats that are licensed to escort swimmers across uh, the channel, and most all these boats are booked like three years ahead. So we made the booking and we we went uh, and we decided we started training thereafter. So uh, everybody just needed to swim an hour on rotation. So today uh, there were a total of eleven plus hours. So each of us swam three times in the water, and. Um, yeah, the, the, we, the, 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 the preparations that we did with everything was pretty much on track, so we're absolutely delighted. Uh, Mr Lim, while you've been speaking, we're just watching pictures and our viewers can see pictures of one of the team members uh, swimming in what look like uh, at least the, the, the evening shots, like very frigid waters there. Give us some context as to why the team wanted to do this swim together. Um, <laughs> I, I guess it's uh, sort of like a uh, a dream where we knew that this thing exists, but nobody dared to dream uh, to even attempt this uh, because all, we always knew that there are uh, solo attempts and whatnot. We were not aware that there were that there is um, relay. Uh, they allow for relays, and uh, until a friend of ours from Hong Kong. Uh, did a relay crossing and that piqued our interest. We uh, uh, researched more into this and realised that, hey, we probably could do it as well. So uh, here we are. Well, uh, Mr. Lim, uh, last question here. You probably could do it and sure. you're talking about preps that took you three years to, uh, to give you every chance of success when you actually uh, take on this challenge. Yes. But uh, were there yes. any concerns about safety? Did you have to take any special precautions to ensure that if you did not complete this challenge, you would still emerge uh, intact, safe? 
Yes, um, safety is our actually only priority. Uh, we have a lot of well wishers, uh, and we have a lot of uh, our friends, family members, and, and loved ones. They want us all to be safe. In fact, we have agreed. Uh, between the team that should any one of us be in any distress, we will call off the swim and jump in. Uh, luckily, there wasn't a need for us to do so. Uh, everybody was actually very comfortable during their swim slot. Uh, and I, 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 I can say that everybody has put their own weight in terms of um, uh, making this attempt successful. So we are very, very grateful for, uh, to everyone um, for supporting us. One final question for you, Mr. Lim, before we let you go. What's yes, next for the team? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are still in discussion, but uh, something may be brewing, but we don't know yet. Okay, uh, we once uh, once we we settle on it, then maybe we'll make an announcement. But we're not ready to say anything yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Lim. Congratulations much, once again on your historic you. swim, yeah. uh, Mr. Lim Chi Kyung. There yes, on the phone you. with us, he and his team, the first Singaporean relay team, to swim across the English Channel.